Well, you thought cocaine and heroin were bad? Meet the new drug on the block. Prescription drugs are now responsible for more deaths than heroin and cocaine deaths combined. And every day in Florida, seven people die abusing the pills. The state house has passed a bill designed to crack down on the state's pill mills, but TV 20's Christian Giannis reports it chokes off dollars for a program that some think would make a big difference. And we're seeing people dying. We're, we're Law enforcement officers know the side effects of some prescription drugs. We're responding to calls where people are overdosed, they're dead, uh, they're driving impaired. The CDC declares prescription drug abuse an American epidemic, and Florida is the epicenter of it all. Do you think that the doctor that prescribes you the pills knows that you're addicted? Yes, for sure. And why does he still prescribe you pills? Because he wants money. On Thursday, the Florida House passed a pill mill crackdown bill. Of the 50 doctors who are the largest dispensers of OxyContin in the country, 49 of them practice in the state of Florida. University of Florida addiction specialist Dr. Gary Ricefield says the legislation has the potential to regulate pill mills out of existence, but he says starves a statewide drug monitoring program of funds. The House legislation prohibits state funds to be used to, mo to fund the drug monitoring program. They've prohibited industry from contributing funds to the program. Ricefield says the bill doesn't address serious questions like education and treatment for prescription drug abusers. It's really uh, heartbreaking to see the damage this is doing to individuals, families, and communities, especially when we see that most of the time these medications have uh, originated from the prescription uh, of a physician. Making the image of drug dealer harder to paint. 60-year-old white male down to a 15-year-old you know, kid um, every race, every uh, range of employment. And the pills don't discriminate against the lives they take. Kristen Giannis, TV 20 News. The Alachua County Sheriff's Office is having a pill take back on April 30th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. They're asking the community to bring pills they have sitting in their home and aren't using and properly dispose of them at the Sheriff's Office. No questions asked.